What? <laughs> Come on. Vive la France! Hey, what's up, France? My name's Paul Taylor. I'm English, and right now we live in a world where countries and regions are trying to separate from each other, just like Brangelina did when Brad and Angelina went back to being Brad and Angelina again. <laughs> but meanwhile, in France. I'm at a marketing meeting to talk about June. No, not Jewel, you idiot. June, the brand new airline created by Air France specifically for people like me, millennials. How condescending. Let's start with the name June. According to Air France's press release, they chose the word June because Jean-Pierre Marketing thinks that June will evoke the month of June in English, but it's spelled incorrectly. <laughs> Also, they think it sounds like the word jeune, which means young in French, jeune, June. That's as if I was to create an airline for old people called Vaux Airlines instead of Vieux Airlines. Sounds the same, right? Vaux Airlines, because we care about <laughs> And that wasn't the marketing team's only genius idea. They decided to create an advert, and it goes like this. June is a fashion designer, a rooftop bar, a personal assistant, an entertainment channel, oh, and June also flies. <laughs> right, because if I'm looking for an airline, I'm gonna choose the one obviously who says flying is its fifth most important thing. Ha! And a rooftop bar, I'm sorry, no one's gonna be up here next to a crying baby at 30,000 feet with their organic tomato juice going, hey, fuck New York and its rooftop bars, this one's much better. More seriously though, I'm fed up with all this marketing for millennials bullshit that all 50-year-old directors are obsessed with right now. I mean, check out the cabin crew. What are they wearing? Of course they're wearing white sneakers and a blue polo. Like, we give a shit. We also don't care that we can eat quinoa. We also don't care that we can watch Viceland. What we care about are the same things that old people care about. Cheap, reliable flights that have got no hidden costs. So maybe, instead of trying to create a new condescending airline, try and fix the one you've already got. Like, I don't know, by trying to keep your staff happy, maybe check the engines once in a while before takeoff, instead of them blowing up mid-flight. Then people will fly with you. Oh, you didn't tell me you've got avocado toast. In that case, Barcelona, here I come! Speaking of bollocks, this channel is full of bollocks, so just subscribe. Click it here, just there, wherever it is, just click subscribe. That's what we have to do. We live in a world where we have to subscribe to shit, so please subscribe, because that means, uh, I don't know what it means, it just means that there's more people watching more things, and that's the way it is. So just subscribe, it'll be good.